Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is a very exciting video. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I am so happy to be doing this video. I've had a few of these things in my closet for a few months now, and I've been waiting till I got a few more things. So these are just fashion pieces that I've accumulated over the past several months. And I thought today was a really good day to try on some of the hottest trends of the season, things that I've obviously been lusting after and I got, and I wanted to show you how I wear them, how I style them, what I love about them. So let's just jump right in. Returning subscribers, so happy to have you guys back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Maytel, hit that subscribe button and ring my bell. We have a really good time here. And I do videos like this all the time. Now, a lot of the things I'm showing you here today are not from a recent haul, but more of an accumulative haul. Some of the things I have just received this week, and I wanted to just round up all of my favorites of the season and show you what I got and how I wear them. So let's just get into the first look. So the first item I want to show you are these Margiela cutout jeans that I am just so obsessed with and I'm actually wearing them right now. I absolutely love, love, love these jeans. I love this trend of cutouts. We've seen cutouts all across the board in fashion over the last couple seasons. We've seen them on the runway and I really, really love the cutout trend in the form of denim. I love these Margiela cutout jeans. I just think they are so on trend, so cool, so cutting edge. And I think they're a pair that I can incorporate into a lot of different looks in my wardrobe. So yes, these are edgy, but they're ways that I can style them that aren't always so much in your face, so edgy and so revealing. Cause yes, they do have cutouts and you know, they are kind of revealing when you're wearing them with like a crop top, which can be cute depending on where you're going, you know, like maybe a night out, a girl's night in Vegas. Like there's always a time and place, at least for me, where I like to be a little bit more edgy, things that I wouldn't wear in like my everyday life, right? So these Margiela jeans are not something I'm gonna go wear to my kids' school pickup, but there are different ways that I could style them to tone them down while still showing the cool style of them and then wearing them in like cool edgy ways to really show that fashion forward cutout style. The next thing I wanna show you is this amazing black Shackmas blazer. Let me get it for you. The tags are still on and yes, she does need a little bit of a steam, but that's because I literally just got this. This just came a few days ago. I am living for it. I love the cut. I love the style. And I've told you guys so many times on this channel that the oversized boxy blazer is just such a hot vibe. It has been for a couple seasons now. And I just really, really love all the blazers I've been seeing from Jacquemus. They've been doing Jacquemus. Sorry, I have to pronounce that correctly. I just feel like when it comes to Jacquemus, the tailoring is just so amazing. They do so many different styles when it comes to blazers, cropped, cinched, tailored, boxy. I absolutely love, love, love the Jacquemus blazers right now. This is actually my favorite, favorite from this haul. I just think it's so, so wearable for every season. I mean, it's linen, so I could definitely style this in summer, in spring, in winter, in fall. It's super versatile and it's so, so stylish. And I think that's why this is one of my favorite trend pieces today because it's so wearable in so many different ways. Like you can style this very high fashion, high style, but then you can also mix this with like basics in your wardrobe that still look very fashionable. So I love the versatility of this piece and it's something Something I can see myself wearing a lot in the coming seasons. So I know I said that the Jacquemus blazer was one of my favorites and it is and then I realized the next thing that I'm talking to you guys about is also one of my favorites and look a lot of these are clearly my favorites. They are my favorite trends of the season but out of my favorites I have favorites so if I'm gonna give a number two spot it's gonna have to go to this Alaya belt. Now I live. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, on YouTube for a long time, then you've probably noticed I love belts. I love a thick, wide belt. I love a statement belt that just makes your whole look, makes your whole outfit, and just adds that little mm, of fashion to your look. There is just nothing better to me than a thick, amazing, corset style, like cummerbund style. I don't know what you call this. I call it amazing. It's Alaya and it's so, 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 so incredible. 
You know, I wanted a Loewe belt, but when I looked at all the belts I saw online, this really was the one that kind of spoke to me the most and spoke to my style. Now, I have talked to you guys about the increasing trend that we're seeing happening more and more, which is fashion fetishism. And we saw it on the Gucci runway for the 100 year anniversary where they did the collab or hack job with Balenciaga. I absolutely love, love, love that runway show. And we saw a lot of fashion fetishism on that runway. We saw a lot of garters and harnesses. What I love about this Alaya belt is that it really gives you kind of like that harness look. It gives you that harness look without looking too over the top SM. And you know, some of the fashion fetishism looks that I've seen I actually quite like, but some of them are just not things that I see myself wearing, right? This is just the perfect marriage of both because it's very, very high fashion to me. And this is just a huge style right now, just big statement belts. I mean, we have seen Loewe do this for a long time now, and they kind of are the goats in the belt department, but so is Alaya. Alaya really, really has always done the most incredible, incredible belts. There was another one that I'm really, really eyeing, but I decided to just stick to one. These things ain't cheap, man. This is like, damn, so expensive. But I, I love it. I, it was something that I've been lusting over for so, so long that I had to bite the bullet on. It has beautiful hardware on it. And what I love about it is that it is so perfect with the boxy blazer trend. I absolutely love, love, love this style with the Jacques Mousse blazer. I think it looks beautiful together, but it can also look so amazing over a dress, over a tight outfit, like just to cinch in the waist. I think this is so, so beautiful and definitely one of my favorites from this haul today. Now, what is a trend styling video without a pair of shoes? One of my favorite, favorite, favorite shoes of this season, which I've expressed to you a few times, how much I am living for Mac and Mac. I absolutely love, love, love all the styles I've seen from Mac and Mac, like every single pair that I've seen this season. I love these have got to be one of my favorites. I have the other pair, which I showed you in my spring shoe haul video. And these I got just in time for the summer. These are just so, so, so amazing. I love the detail of these shoes. I think they are so, so beautiful, so feminine, so princessy, which is really not my vibe usually. It's, it's just so not. But for some reason, my inner five-year-old princess, like princess self, is just coming out in full force. <laughs> I just absolutely love these. I think they're so beautiful. I love the pearl detail, the crystal on the heels. And I also really love that they're square toe. The other Mac and Mac shoes that I have are pointy pink satin, which I think are so beautiful. But I love these for an open toe, square toe moment. And we need it in this beautiful, sophisticated way. I just think this is like the perfect square toe, not too aggressively square, no spatula vibes over here, you know what I mean? Buy nine spatulas, get the 10th one for just one penny. What I love about these for me is that I can style them very chic and dainty, but then I can also style them in a very edgy way. So I think they are such a perfect trend for the season. I think they look amazing with my boxy blazer and my skinny jeans. I think they are perfect. They'll look so beautiful in the summer with dresses. Such a good score. All right, next I wanna show you another Margiela item. These are jeans that I bought. Yes, all the tags are still on on a lot of these clothes because the blazers and the jeans are the latest of the items that I wanted to show you today. So these are ones that I am reluctant to take the tags off of because I'm not sure how I feel about them. I actually just wasn't even gonna include them in the haul today, but I decided I might as well bring them and show you. I did try these on at home. I'm not trying them on in studio because again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them. I would love your opinion on these. I think they're very cool and very Margiela with the like whole stamp thing here, but they're also like kind of in your face. Like it's kind of like, I don't know, a little much, but I think they're cool and unique, so I like them. I like that they're low rise. They're a little bit of a lower rise. They're not so, so crazy long like some of the baggy jeans that I've showed you. The other Margiela cutout jeans are like eight inches too long and you know I'm definitely gonna have to hem them. These I'm very very much on the fence about. I cannot say these are up there with my favorites of the season but they are cool. There's something about them that I like. I think they could look good when styled well but I don't want to just keep things for the sake of keeping them. I want to keep them because they're things that I'm really gonna get a lot of use out of and 
just not sit around in my closet. Those buying habits, those are things that I've been trying to change over the years, just not have so many pieces loitering in my closet where I'm just like, they're just collecting dust. It's a waste of money. It's over consumption. I'm not here for it. I need your help on these. I really do. I like them, but like, do I? All right, next, since we're talking about Margiela and just the pieces that I'm really unsure about, these I think I'm pretty sure I'm returning. That's why these pieces I didn't try on in studio because I'm pretty sure these are going back. It's not that I don't like them, it's just that I think they are just a bit too much for me and I didn't even know that these were sweatpants when I ordered them. Like, I thought they were cotton, but they had that like elastic waist and the slit in the leg. So I think they're cool, but for a sweatpant, I'm not paying like a high designer price. Like I'm just not feeling them. I think they're very, very cool. But again, for the price, not gonna happen. I think they are really cool for like that edgy but dressed down fashion me stuff. And that definitely can be me, but uh, not today. So yeah, these are going back. Very like Margiela, very cool. We're seeing this patch happen a lot, but just not worth the money and not really fitting in with my overall style aesthetic. You know what I mean? Yeah. So because I'm a 90s kid forever, I had to show you my Prada bucket hat, which I've had actually for a while, but I included it here because I've never talked to you guys about it. I just posted some photos on Instagram with it, but I love me a bucket hat and especially a Prada bucket hat because I think out of all bucket hats, this is the best, the most iconic, and just the best ratio. Like I do not need a whole geographic location of a visor. You know, those like massive visors that are just like literally Love the vibe. This is just very 90s kid forever. Very, very here for this. Like, I, I just love it. It's something that I'll wear because first of all, I always wear hats. I love to protect my skin from the sun. And I love me a stylish hat for every season. Yes, girl, winter, spring, summer, fall. And this is just like, first of all, this is kind of like multi-seasonal. You could definitely rock this in fall, in spring, in summer, maybe not so much a Canadian winter. This is gonna fly right off your head in a blizzard. However, such a vibe, so 90s, so my childhood, and I'm here for it. Love, love, love this trend. Okay, next we have this pink Jacquemus blazer that I decided to wear for this video. Very like, again, we are going back to like 2020 or Dateline NBC vibes, but like in a high fashion way. If you guys saw my recent video on high-end jewelry and what's worth the price, I was giving very Barbara Walters 2020 vibes and I feel like this time we are doing that, but in a very fashionable way. In the other video, Straight Up Newscaster, today we are like, fashion broadcaster, you know what I mean? I am just absolutely living for this blazer. So what I love the most about Jacques Mousse, which I mentioned earlier, is all the different cuts of blazers. So it's not just like one big oversized boxy blazer, which by the way, they are doing so, so well. They're also doing a very cinched waist blazer. This silhouette, this cut is much different from the black blazer that I showed you. And they also do amazing, beautiful crop blazer styles that are just so, so versatile with what's happening in fashion right now because you can dress them up, dress them down, and style them in so many various different ways. I absolutely love this. Even though I look a little newscaster, I love it. I paired it with this Dion Lee corset top. Again, very fashion fetishism, but when it's like peeking out of the top, it's sexy and cool and stylish, but not too much. You know what I mean? Because like there's a fine line. Sometimes when I'm wearing these edgy styles, I don't want to look too revealing or too edgy. You know what I mean? So I like the balance and I think this really gets the look. I am so, so loving this whole look. I also am wearing the Margiela cutout jeans with it. And just for reference, these Jacquemus blazers are both size 32, which is like either extra small or double extra small. And you kind of have to size down in these. Usually I'm like a size 34, but because these are oversized and boxy, you do kind of got to go down a size in them. And I think it's perfect because it really just cinches in the waist so, so beautifully, but you still get that boxy look. And um, again, 32 and it's still long in the arms. And that's kind of the style that's how it's supposed to be. So I know a lot of the styles happening in fashion today kind of look like you're a little kid wearing like your dad's clothes. I don't know what to tell you. It's the vibe and I'm here for it. Okay, wrapping it up with some of the hottest bags of the season. Let's start with my Bottega Jody bag, which I am just so, so into. I'm actually currently using it. This is the bag that I've been wearing lately. I gotta tell you, I love Bottega. I love Daniel Lee for Bottega, but I've always loved Bottega. And what I love the most about the Jody bag is that 
it is very much to me both old and new Bottega because Bottega was doing this hobo style forever. The only difference is they had like a different like weaved piping all around, which was so beautiful. I love this even more. It's just the same old Bottega, but in a new modern way with this beautiful knot, um, but you still get the functionality of a big functional spacious bag, which I need and love. You know, I'm a mom and I have a lot of stuff. I need all this stuff. So I just love this. This is the absolute perfect combination of both old and new Daniel Lee Bottega. Love, love, love this. Been wearing it everywhere. And it's just so good because again, this is something I could wear comfortably to the grocery store where I don't feel overdressed or over the top with you know some of the other trendy bags of the season. But I can also wear a really high fashion outfit with this and it still looks so on point and so fashionable. So versatility, functionality, I am such a fan of the Bottega Jody bag. Last but not least, another Bottega bag. I don't even know if this is the right dust bag for this because I've been buying a lot of Bottega lately and there's just like dust bags all over my closet floor. This is just... Oh, just so amazing. I love this so, so much because when I first bought my pouch clutch a couple years ago, I was debating between this stunning sky blue or the really bright, almost neon green color, which is just, oh, I just love them so, so much. I went for the green because I thought it was just so, so special, but I never stopped thinking about this gorgeous, gorgeous shade of blue. I just think this is such a beautiful, beautiful blue and the straps are adjustable. There's like knots. I just made it a bit shorter because the straps were too long for my 5'2 frame. Just absolutely love this. Not enough good things I could say about these pouch bags and Jody bags. I have told you guys with Bottega, I don't love all the bags I'm seeing the last couple seasons, but I must tell you these bags I definitely love. I'm such a fan of this. I think it's so cute and stylish. The pop of color is just beautiful and just suits my style perfectly. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. I really just wanted to show you some of the hottest trends of the season and how I style them. Again, these aren't all new in my wardrobe, so this isn't exactly a recent haul, but very much accumulative. So a lot of these I've been waiting to show you because I really wanted to have enough cool pieces and trends of the season to show you and how I style them and what I love so much about them. I would love to hear what you thought, what you think about some of the pieces I showed you today, how I styled them, which ones are your favorite. You guys know I love hearing from you. And I'll be back very, very soon with another really fabulous video and I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.